Welcome back to another session of Canva Learn With Me. Today, we're gonna learn how to create a link in bio using Canva. So stay tuned. All right, so I've got my Canva open and um, when you get to your home page, you're gonna see the uh, what will you design today and you'll be able to search for something. Um, so what I'm gonna type in here is I'm gonna search for uh, link uh, templates. Um, I'll press enter and this is what I'm gonna get when I um, type in link into my search bar. Now, if you don't see these templates, it's probably because you're looking at your own projects. So you can just toggle back to templates and you'll see uh, these options here. Now, the reason why I'm not going straight into creating a design like I normally do is because I want to be able to use one of these templates right from the get go. So once you've found a design, just um, click on it and you can start to edit the design. For the purposes of this um, tutorial, I'm going to choose this template right here. I'm going to click it and I'm going to say customize this template. Now you'll notice when I come into my workspace. I've got my template here and if you're not happy with the template that you've chosen you can always come to your left side and you can choose something else. Um, now all these templates are customizable uh, and I'll just show you how to customize your link uh, in bio design. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my um, banner. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select a pink keyboard desktop and I've got these options here. Um, this is the one I use most frequently for my uh, brand. So I'll come in here and I'll pop it right in there. Uh, now you'll notice that the colors are kind of not matching anymore. So it's really up to you to decide if you want to change the background color to another color like white. Um, and then you've got um, the icon with um, your photo. Now you can uh, put a photo in there or you can put an avatar or you can put an icon. It's totally up to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click in there and I am going to remove the picture of Samira and I'm going to find a picture of me in my uploads. And I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to crop it a little bit. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to Put it in there like that. Okay um, and what I'll do is I'm just going to change the border to white. Okay so I'm fairly happy with that. Um, what I'll do is I'm just going to change this now to uh, Amy and you just you can just double click into that text box and uh, change it and I'm going to change this to Canva coach uh, because that's what I do uh, most of the time and now underneath you're going to have your all your social links now these are all text boxes so you can change them to whatever um, you like um, I'm going to leave it as website you can do whatever you like and I am going to uh, come in here I'm going to go to link and I'm going to key in my website and I'm going to say done. Okay. And once I'm done, you'll see that there'll be like an underline on, on there. And, um, so that's 
showing, reflecting that it's linked. It doesn't mean it's linked to the right website, it just means it's linked um, to either another page in your document or an external uh, website. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to Facebook group and if um, the text box isn't large enough for you then you can just make it larger and now I'm just going to link that to my Facebook group. So I'm going to um, select that text. I'm going to say link and this is my Facebook group and I'm going to say done. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to link this to my shop. So I'm going to double click in there. I'm going to say shop and I'm going to highlight that text, press link. And now I'm going to type in my website shop. Now you can either link to the word or you can link to the shape. Um, it's all up to you what you want to link to. Um, when you link to a word, obviously you're going to get that underscore. When you link to the shape, you're not going to see that underscore and it might look a little bit prettier. But it might be more difficult for you to actually click the um, shape. And lastly, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to link this to my email. And I'll just come in there and type in my email address and say done. Now over here, what I'm going to do is um, change this um, to a call to action and call this uh, learn Canva with free tutorials. And uh, what I'll do is I'm going to remove this and I'm just going to um, change this to tutorials for beginners. And I'm going to search for a YouTube uh, icon. So I'll come into elements and I'll just search YouTube and I'm just going to click that one and make it small and then I'm just going to move that down here like that. Now you can also add um, a Facebook icon here if you like, um, but I'm just going to keep that uh, simpler for the purpose of this tutorial. So you can just grab that and you can put that um, in um, here if you want, but um, I'm just going to leave it simple like this. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to link hyperlink to the button rather than the text uh, boxes. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to go to link, and I'm going to link in my YouTube channel. Okay, and now if you want to see how that's all working, it's always a good idea to test to test it out just to make sure that it is working. Um, so what you can do is uh, you can go to share and you can go to more 
and what you'll see is the public view link so you can just click that and you can uh, create a public view link you can copy it you can go into a new browser and you can just paste that and then you can just test out the links to make sure that it's working Okay, so there, that's um, the Facebook group. This is my shop. And when I click contact, it's opening up uh, my Outlook. And then this is my um, YouTube channel. Now, just note that you notice that if I'm hovering over here, I'm not getting the finger button uh, to link. That's because my link is hyperlinked to the shape rather than my text word. And that's what I was talking about before is that it, the link might get be difficult to get to if you're linking it to your shape. So over here, that's not a very good uh, outcome. Better to link it to um, these words as opposed to the shape. So I'm just going to go back to my um, design here and I am going to garbage can or I'm going to edit my link and I'm going to garbage can that link. And instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the um, tutorials to this the word down here and I'll say done. Okay, so now it's linked to the text word instead of the shape. Uh, now, if you want, um, what other things that you can do is you can uh, cre um, add a shadow to the circle. So let's see what that would look like. So here is a shadow and I can just place that in behind. Now, when you're moving around um, a shape around a frame, just try and um, hold it by the edges as you're um, moving it. Um, you see what's happened there is it's gone right into my frame. So maybe um, click down here and then you can just resize it from um, the bottom here. And I'm just going to send that to um, backwards a little bit. So um, there you go. So there's a nice little uh, shadow that's aesthetically pleasing. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can add some kind of a gradient here that's uh, pink. So I'm just going to go into gradients and maybe I'll just say pink gradient. And let's see what's available. Um, we can use this. So I'm just going to bring that down here. And I'm going to expand that like that. Now, if it's not the right shade of pink, you can over here, this one has the option to change it. So I'm just going to click on that. And I'm going to try and make it the same shade as um, the rest of my design. Now, um, if you're finding it difficult to um, match the shade, one of the things that you can do is you can um, uh, click on uh, the shape. You can go to color. You can come in here to add a new color or you can um, customize the color that you, you've already selected and you've got this eyedropper which allows you to match um, the color uh, exactly to somewhere else in your design. So for example, if I wanted to exactly match this one, I could just click that and it would match it for me. Now I kind of like the contrast of that the darker uh, pink or mauve 
Um, so I'm just going to leave it that way. And the, uh, I'll just check the position of the items here. And I'm just going to move this in behind that large tab so that it's not covering my tutorials for beginners. Finally, the last thing that I want to um, just mention is that um, you can't really measure analytics with uh, this Canva template. Um, you, you can, um, Canva does allow you to um, monitor the analytics um, for people who access the template, but not for specific links. If you want to do that, then a workaround might be to um, create a bit.ly link for your website, for your Facebook group, for shop, for contact, for any of the links that you put in here. And then you can go to bit.ly and monitor the analytics there for the individual links. Um, so now to get this to your Instagram account, um, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to share and you'll want to create a public view link. Okay. So once you've created your custom uh, view link, um, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to your Instagram account and you'll need to place that link in your profile. So you can just click on your profile picture. Um, you can click on edit profile and then you can add it as a link like you would link in bio or um, your website. If you learned anything in this tutorial, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to be the first to be notified when new content comes out. For now, my friends, I'll say goodbye and until next time.